guys welcome back to my channel so today in this video we are not going to talk about technology side but uh, we are going to, like i'm going to give some awareness for those people so like who are interested in creating like an app or a website and stuff so basically uh, what is the thing here is uh, if you if you might have used like windows 97 windows 98 like maybe like 15 years back windows or uh, laptops or maybe computers and stuff you might have noticed that you will pakka have a software installed in your computer named as winamp so what this software does is this is like a media uh media player uh software with help of this you can play your songs in your uh, computers and stuff i'm saying about those days so what is the main thing here is this winamp uh, company is so so famous and so so popular in the sense like they just use a small hook uh, to take to bring all the people around the world to a single platform so what was the main hook is they they are going to release plenty of songs in this uh, software in this platform but what people can do is they can create their own skins like own back covers for their music tracks in the sense like you can take any songs but uh, on back of it just like a track you can design your own so like you can keep any animated characters or any superstars any characters you want you can keep like a photo or like a logo or any written words it purely depends on you then you can upload or upload in the website so you can keep that as your back cover for media play so that is the main hook what this company used for making the people to come so the total like estimated is around they had almost like 60 million users i'm saying about those days like maybe 10 years back but what is the main problem here is the company was shut down on 2013 like 2013 so just think they had almost like 60 million users then due to some issues they have to shut down it and that's like a sad part but still uh, this the fans for this winamp website is still there so that is the first point so coming to the uh, second point is uh, we are going to talk about jordan a facebook engineer so he is working in facebook right now so in 2020 so he made a dedicated website uh, for this winamp named as winamp skin museum so what he did here is he just brought those histories like those past memories just live in 2020 like a virtual event so that's it so what here he does is he just adds all types of skins which was pre uploaded like which was uploaded in those days in winamp so he took those uh, skins and he re uploaded here so it has now almost like 65000 uh skins so you can go there and you can choose anything you want and still uh he also uploaded almost like 13 nostalgic songs so if you want you can also listen to those songs which is also quite good from my side so uh coming to the next point about this skin museums and stuff you can download it there is a search bar you can search for any type of skins or you can just click on random there will be just a random skin you can start keeping it so these are the back stuffs but uh, nowadays what we use spotify apple music like blah blah, blah. there are like lots of things which is available in the market right now for using music so keeping that thing aside so this the fans for this is quite unique and still the fans are there so that's what i'm saying here so if you want to see this website i'll put the official link in the description where you can go and experience this winamp so this is the second point so coming to the third point is awareness so like you might be asking what you're going to do like why you're seeing is right now so what is the baseline of this video like awareness here is still there are people who are uh, just enjoys their past memories so that's what i'm saying here so in the sense still there are some people who like uh, 90s songs like 80s songs and so like those days songs even like there are some dedicated fans for uh, old songs so keeping that one thing in mind you can create your own websites or like apps or anything you want to bring those memories for the people who are currently in 2020 and who has no idea how to access it because nowadays if they want to listen to some old song they can just go to maybe like youtube they are they are just trying to search in our platforms our current platforms but in our current platforms these old songs may or may not be available so that is a true fact on one side because like we are just going for edm hip hop like we are changing our day to day song cultures and stuff 
but those people still they want to listen those type of songs they have to listen to this radio stations and stuff so keeping that one thing in your mind if you're interested in creating any websites or apps and stuff like that i would suggest you to give it a shot on this side because it is going to work for you you can go just like a normal playback you can just keep some customizations like however you want and just do like one to three promotions and you're done your app will be so so successful your website or anything you want it will be so so successful you can add any number of languages you want you can choose any number of songs you want you can just upload it and you, your work is done you can do your best like if you are interested so that's what the thing which i'm the main reason why i made this video because like this may help for some people so that is the point of making this video so hope so you like this video if you like it give it a thumbs up so like this content i'll just meet you in the next video so till then peace from k square bye